What's that smell? What? Why is this bread like this? Ew. Combo? Welcome to Ryan's world. Ryan, I don't know what happened. I just left my bread out for a few weeks and now it looks like that. Combo, this is definitely not safe to eat. I think you should throw this away. Good idea, Ryan. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how bread gets moldy. I got an idea. I'm gonna put bread in different places, and then we can see which one's the most moldiest and the least moldiest. Good idea, Ryan. I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. First, ask a grown-up for help. My grown-up for help is Mommy. Say hi, Mommy. Hi. <laughs> so first, you add a little bit of water on your bread. Here. Next, put your bread into a Ziploc bag and then seal it super, super tight. The first place I'm going to put it in is the fridge. Go! Then you do the same thing, add some water, and the second place I'm going to put it is outside! Check on you later. Third place is going to be in the dark. Ah! Bradity, Bradity, I hope you're not scared of the dark, Mr. Bradity. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Nothing ever happens. My next bread is control. We're gonna keep it on the counter. Now tell the people around your house, do not eat the experiment because moles will grow on it. different locations create mold on bread. I'm going to see if different fluids create mold on bread. That's right. So we searched all over the house and we were able to find some bread, some oil, some salt, and some sugar. All right. This experiment's going to rock. Oh, but always make sure you got an adult combo crew. So first, we're going to take the salt and put it on the bread. Here comes the salt combo. Uh, wait a second, we gotta put our goggles on first. Great idea, Combo. Safety first. Now let's start with the salt. Ready? That's a lot of salt, Combo. Yeah, uh, that's not going to work. Ooh, I know, let's add water. All right, now we have salt water. We're just like the ocean. Salty bread is done. Next, we're gonna take the oil and put that on the bread. All right, so let's see. Oh, this is really heavy. Whoa. Ugh, oily. Ooh. And oil is done. And finally, we're gonna put the sugar on the bread. So we already have water, so now let's add sugar. Whoa. That looks super sweet. Sugar water! This one's my favorite! Sugar water bread is done! And let's see if, ooh, we can get the soggy bread into the bag. <gasps> Perfect! 
perfect. Look at that. And next, we're gonna put water on bread. All right, Brie, fresh water straight from the sink. Oh, that's a great idea. And I mean, we just got this out of the kitchen sink, so how easy is that? Ugh, soggy bread doesn't look very good. Super soggy. All right, let's see if we can get this really soggy piece of bread in this bag in one piece. Ugh, ew, it's so soggy. <gasps> we did it! Oh, that looks perfect. You know what else we need, Combo? What's that, Brie? A piece of bread we don't do anything to. Oh yeah, the controlled bread. And now we only have to wait a week. See you later, Brie. Bye, Combo. A couple weeks later. Okay, Combo, I think it's time to compare bread results. How did yours do? Combo, what happened to all of our bread? I don't know! We're gonna have to check the security footage! Aww. What happened? A raccoon was just hungry and ate all of our bread. It's okay anyway, that was old bread. Bree, you got safety goggles and gloves on now. I do, that's right. We don't know if this mold is dangerous or not, so it's better to be safe. Now, this was just the regular bread. It didn't have anything on it, and it doesn't seem to have any mold at all. <gasps> Wait a second, there's feet print on this bread. So the raccoon didn't eat it, he just stepped on it? Next one. Let's check out the sugar bread. Well, what's left of the sugar bread? There's not very much. Apparently this raccoon really had a sweet tooth, but it does look like there's some mold in the bag, so I think that the sugar water definitely molded the bread. But what about the salt bread, Brie? It looks like the raccoon really liked this one too, but from the looks of the bread that we have left, it doesn't look very moldy. Okay, so how about the oily one? How'd that one do? Well, Combo, let's see. Ooh, okay, this one looks really gross. It's got all different colors of mold. It looks like some black and some green and some white mold. I don't know what that is, but I'm really glad that I have gloves on for this. Ooh. Oh no, ew, what happened to that piece of bread? Oh, this one? This is our bread with water on it. <laughs> Oh, gross! That's so nasty! It is really gross, actually. It is so gross, the raccoon didn't even want to eat it. Ugh. Man, I can't even tell which one did the worst. But the raccoons didn't even eat the one with the water, so it must have been that. That means it's inconclusive, Combo. And don't forget to do this project with the help of an adult. That's right, make sure you ask an adult because we don't know if this stuff is dangerous or not, so it is best to be plenty safe. Use lots of safety, and when you're finished, make sure you clean up really, really well. You wanna look at my results combo? Hold on, Bree. Ryan sent us his moldy bread! Oh, Bree, check out that bread! It's a good thing we're here in the lab. It is a really good thing that Ryan asked us to look at the results because this bread is really, really gross and it might be dangerous. Okay, well let's see which one of his did the worst. And, ugh, I already see one that looks super bad. Okay, so let's start with the one that Ryan put in the fridge. This bread looks perfect. All right, now the one that was outside, uh, not so good. It definitely has some stuff growing right here in the center. Lots of stuff. The one that was in the dark, this one's scary. Ooh. Look at all those colors. I don't even know what all is growing on this thing. Ugh, okay, we'll just put that down. Now the control bread, this one doesn't look so good either. It has all sorts of mold growing on it. Ew, that bread is super moldy. I think that this experiment definitely shows the fridge is the way to go. Yeah, and out of what was left over from my experiment, the salty one did the best. Well, everyone, that's it for our moldy bread experiment. And remember, you can try this at home too. Bye! Thank you, Carl.
combo, I've learned a lot about how to keep bread not moldy. Bye. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Hopefully you'll learn too. Bye.